Well met, lords and ladies, Jake Kupata speaking. A few days ago, I uploaded the Leon Toxina Rad Part 3. Now, pretty standard there, I was supposed to do that ages ago, but, you know, I promised that once I'd uploaded that video, I would then proceed to remove the Leon Toxina Rad Part 1. So I'm about to go over it and, you know, visit it for a last time. Do you remember it? Even though it's also going to just be private and I can see it anytime that I want to. I remember it for the last time for what it was. And so it shall be removed. Wish me luck. I am free, I am free. I finally can breathe. Alive, I can scream. That you can break me. Alive, alive, alive can break me. Yep, well, that just happened. So, yes, now that video is gone, but, you know, it's when I still might, if it needs to re-emerge in the future, I might use it as a reference or something, you can always, it's on the website store, because it's a little bit of a quick download or whatever, but, yep, the um, last time to see it has now, has now gone, unfortunately. I mean, it wasn't that much of a good video to begin with, but whatever, you know, I, I'm not really a fan of deleting my videos, even though that I know that most of them are terrible, because let's face it, for the little one terrible videos, my channel, it, my channel dies, because I'll have nothing left. But, now comes the time to address the actual video, and the mistakes that I've made in the recent Leon Toxina Rand Part 3, because if you don't know, Leon Toxina himself made a new video stating the mistakes that I'd made in, that, in my recent video on him. So, I'm now going to address those ones. Just so you know that I'm not ignoring him, and I do admit that I have made those mistakes, and, well, let's just see. I haven't actually watched the whole video through, so I don't know, maybe I'm going to be completely embarrassed or something, who knows. Let's give it a look. I've had both kinds of comments from him about these rants. One saying, please delete these immediately, they are useless and they don't have any purpose on there, even though he's actually promoted them on the Roblox forums. To be honest, that was a pretty bold statement for me. I just assumed that he'd done the same thing to the Leon Tox, you know, rants as he did to Heart, Mind, and Soul. And the reason I thought that was because even though he says there aren't that many views or whatever, they've got more views than my average videos, per se. So I thought that there'd been some element of promotion on there, even though, you know, there's not that much, which, I mean, far less than Heart, Mind, and Soul. But I assumed that Heart, Mind, and Soul was promoted due to the fact that he would spam it everywhere including his own Skype chat, which is one of the things that he did to some of his previous videos that have got more views. He spams it on the Skype chat, and then he gets people to click on it various times if we've missed some important details or something like that. I'm not sure. So I thought that's what happened, but I was clearly wrong. So yeah, I apologize for that. In saying, please do this rant, please finish it, please do part three. He hadn't watched the full video, but complained to the school about it. Okay. I do have an issue with some of the things that you post on Skype and Facebook and whatever, so I'm just going to flash a compilation of those up on the screen right now. mistake of the lot. Yes, he is right to be triggered there. In fact, I would have been in that same situation as well. The thing is, what happened when I, why I put that on there is, well, it was just that was down to one of the, probably the worst mistake. Yeah. Thing is, <clears throat> on my computer, I have a few photos that start off, in my pictures library, start off with um, LT. For the Ontoxina, LT does this, LT whatever. Well, there's some of them that say LT has a point, LT got this right, you know, that kind of thing. Problem is, 
that since most of them were the ones that actually came into the rant that actually made sense, then those ones were the ones that I thought had featured there, and I forgot to edit out the uh, previous ones. It, I did do a whole thing on Sony Vegas that took me forever, where I sorted through each of them, and I even added some captions to the actual thing, added the music and everything, and then uh, and then realised that it had disappeared and the saving didn't work or whatever. So because the video had taken me so long to put together, I just gave up then and remove some of the, the the images that I had there, but not all of them. So basically that mistake was down to lazy editing, no other reason. I don't disagree with that statement whatsoever. And uh, yeah, that's about as far as I got into the video. I'm going to watch the rest now and see how I can actually address, because I don't think there's anything worse than what I did there. Okay, okay. Pause right there. Okay, so you can see what it says right there. I mean, he has it on the screen for about a split second, which again shows the power of editing. <coughs> right, he says that what the right Russian Muslims and what they're doing in the name of Islam isn't right or whatever. Well, okay, but I mean, I'm not too sure. Is Islam, I don't know, just. So that that's open for debate there if Islam is a religion of peace or not. I mean, I think I think personally that it is, and the way that it's been interpreted is different. I mean, it's like it's like the Bible. I have a friend who can literally find an interpretation for almost everything that justifies what happens in the Bible and why it was written the way that it was. I mean, it's it is it's quite interesting to think about it that way. So I'm kind of not sure if that's. A bold statement or not? I think it is. I think that's a bit of a bold statement right there. Just, just, just be careful. Is all I will say. You know, this is coming from the guy whose channel got terminated because of the person he was making a video on. You know, Toshi Melling, the channel does not exist anymore because of this video. Just remember that. And here he is giving advice on how to actually make someone else's channel better, and their response was to terminate his channel. Okay, first of all, love the music by the way, that was beautifully timed, I must say. I did previously complain once to him that his music... The music in his videos lack variety, so yeah, pretty impressed there, I must say. And also, again, that's another huge mistake that I made. I actually did get to this point in the video. I don't know what I was saying before. Um, but yeah, the, that I didn't actually realize that was the full story because by that point, what was this mid July or something when this this whole thing started? Um, yeah, by that point, I'd actually left the school, so. So, I was unaware of the entire story. I'm sure that Leon would have probably discussed it in greater detail because, you know, we used to have lunch together and everything. So, to see quite a lot more of him, I mean, obviously, we're still in touch because we have that Skype chat which he never leaves alone. Well, no one does, to be fair. But, yes, I was, I was just unaware of the full story and I kind of jumped to a conclusion. So, you know, I still think that the worst mistake that I made was the first one, but this one is a close second. You know, it, 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 it's a runner-up. The problem is, he wouldn't have had to do that in the first place if he hadn't actually specifically told Paul Joseph Watson that he was going to expose him. I think, if anything, this is proof of how of how little I know of how Twitter works. Maybe I should get an account, I don't know. I think that there's actually a video somewhere on his channel that I actually think was a really, really wise video that he gave. It wasn't even a criticism saying, oh, you're a sensitive idiot, you know, that kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. Destroy your channel, go back to cleaning toilets. <laughs> More on that one later. Um, but it was just... Constructive criticism. Just to confirm, yes, that is the video that I was talking about. 
thing is that you might have missed that from his video because he edits it so that it only appears for about a split second. So yes, unless you have an editing software that goes frame by frame like I do, then it's kind of hard to pick that one out. So you know, just a bit of advice there, Leon. Please make sure that if you're going to edit something, have it on the screen for longer. But yes, that pretty much wraps up the video. I mean, there's not really much else to comment on. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this wasn't meant to be, you know, part four or anything. It was just addressing some of the things that were that were mistakes, or the ones that you thought were mistakes but actually weren't, or whatever. So. I'm just gonna leave it at that and have the whole ordeal solve itself naturally. So yes, on that note, until next time, farewell.